Yeah, be careful. He's got a head. Be careful. You could say he got... So no head? A head. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Quay. Oh, right. <laughs> Wait, no. Are we recording? <laughs> it's okay. We're going to cut that out. <laughs> Welcome to episode nine of Wait. Quay. Oh, are we actually recording? recording? I did, yeah. Oh, I did. my God. <laughs> oh! Not much, not for long, uh, since you were talking about head. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kevin, what did you do? <laughs> you fixed him. He's back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stop burping him, please. <laughs> I wonder if any more bees are going to get in. <laughs> I don't think the question is if anymore. I wonder how many more. Because <laughs> that's, fucking... that's the third one. Fucking swarm is. Although it's been a while since we've seen the other two, they're probably dead, or it's the original, or it's its brother coming back to avenge its death. You're killing the whole family. Oh, oh, that's a Ooh, lot of family the, members you got to go through you're for, end the fucking for, bloodline. For, for for bees. The bloodline must be pure. <laughs> the Kev, bee bloodline. Are you joining for Quinn? What? We're doing Quinn right now. No, I'm just standing here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is episode nine. Welcome to episode nine of Quay. What just got uploaded? Okay. Uh, seven? seven was just uploaded. So seven. So eight, yeah, this is nine. Yeah. Uh, we can count. <laughs> Yay! We I can count, Strummer. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Dude, who the heck is all here? Why we got a lot of people here. Calling me, bro. This is not the time. I'm me. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, to top we, it off, I got fucking root beer. Like we all just we all just had barbarita and uh, I was gonna get ginger ale. I was like, nah, I'll be fine. I was not fine. Must upset stomach. Mm. <clears throat> all right, um, I got a bunch of talking points, but if you guys want to do some stuff before, you we can do like a pimple on your dick. Okay. We also didn't introduce ourselves. <laughs> yeah, who, oh, yeah, who the heck is here? Welcome, uh, Quay, perpetually postponed podcast episode nine. Um, <laughs> I am. Cameron, Mr. Kajoko, one of your hosts. I'm the other host. I'm Phantom Knight 300. Hi. Did you just wave at the mic? I've waved at the <laughs> mic, yes. <laughs> um, okay, we always do visual gags on this show. It's Episode a, 1 had a visual gag. It's me, Ron. I don't have a pimple on my dick anymore. Anymore. <laughs> uh... I, I, I'm Crimbo, I'm still being held prisoner. We've actually moved you to a different basement. This one is this less... One, this one's, like, more dungeony. Yeah. This one's a lot more dungeony. Honestly, I'd rate this, like, 8 out of 10 on the dungeon scale. At least you got lights. I agree. The only thing you're missing is, like, a sex swing. Well, that's what the bee's for. Ah, <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, so, Kevin's not here, but, uh, he... But, I mean, he's here, but he's not on the podcast. Um, he... For the last D&D session, he was talking about uh, he was wearing Saks underwear. And uh, I was thinking about getting some, and I fucking I got some. Oh my god. What is this? Fucking amazing. Is it just like underwear? Saks underwear. They're underwear that cradle your balls. So it feels like someone's holding your balls? It's just, they're like in place. Are you wearing them right now? I'm wearing them currently. Can I see them? Do you want to see them, actually? <laughs> I don't like this visual bit. <laughs> So I, <laughs> there is basically like just like a couple pieces of fabric that like essentially cradle your balls. Okay. So they're not like sticking to your leg or whatever. And man, they're nice. Uh, I got two pairs. They're expensive though. They're like thirty dollars a pair. Where do you get them? Is it online? I got them from Amazon. Oh. Uh, it costs like fifty bucks for two. But uh, I know Marks was selling them for like thirty bucks, and you can buy them on their website. So not sponsored, but I highly recommend. Not sponsored, but cradle your balls. Oh, absolutely! Please cradle my balls. <laughs> with, with, say it again. With uh, sacks. Sacks. S a x x. Sacks. Underwear. Sacks. Sacks for your sacks. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Down at a Amazon near you. Amazon. Other stores, I'm sure. Marks where I saw them. Dollarama. I'm probably not Dollarama. Yo, welcome to Quay, Eric. You going to the gym? No, he's gonna work. Gonna work. You working? Yeah. See ya. See ya, Crackers. Wait, Kevin. <laughs> to I need to talk to Kevin. Oh, sorry. Hey, Did Kevin. I thing, yeah. No. I'm wearing Saks underwear, Kevin. I got Saks. Are they not the most comfortable? They are so fucking comfortable. They cup your balls. Right? You, you know what? I feel like we can talk about Saks underwear for two <coughs> hours now. Let's fucking go, dude. Go ahead. 
two hours. Welcome in, uh, <clears throat> Venacor. Welcome, Venacor. So now we've got five people in the pot. So yeah, this might be like the most. Yeah, I think we're not going to do any more than five ever. But uh, last episode we'd had four, <laughs> and the episode before that it was pretty chaos. So eighty dollars spent on underwear. I spent fifty, spent but I only 80? got two pairs. They were forty bucks a pair. They're yeah, thirty. 35 now, I think, if you buy them individually, but yeah. I got them 50 for two on Amazon. That's a little much for underwear to me. They're so nice. Yeah. They're so nice. My balls have never sweated once. I've worn them in... for the last, like, four days straight. You know, oddly enough, not the first time someone's recommended underwear to me. So good. Sax is... Just not this, this one. Sax is the best. I, I'm it's... adding a note for when Eric swears, or when I need to cut things, so I don't miss stuff like that one episode. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. We're Nothing not going to ever miss. You no. didn't miss a gamer word. No, nope. I didn't. Yeah, I found it. Oh, well, look, so. is that a bridge? No, oh, no. Not the dreaded PewDiePie <laughs> bridge. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. He never said it. It was just a, a figment of our imagination. Yeah. He's now having a fucking kid, and I feel old as shit. I still remember watching him in high school. His uh, amnesia videos. <laughs> Dude, I discovered PewDiePie through an ad. Through an ad. I was watching, I don't remember who I was watching, I was watching someone else, and one of PewDiePie's like 10 minute long Slenderman videos was an ad, and I was like, sure. And I watched the entire ad, and I was like, I like PewDiePie. <laughs> I felt, <laughs> how old is he? It, it was, he's, I don't know how old he is like now. Old. 30 something? Yeah. I want to say he's like in his 30s, right? Yeah. Uh. But yeah, it was a while, a while ago when I <laughs> found him. I started watching a Markiplier when he was doing videos with like his brother still, and he was still doing like a, the all orcs must die. Mm. His furry brother? What? What? Is he a furry brother? Yeah, but that's not uh, on the he, podcast. So we just need to get you closer. What to that, do you so. mean? His brother does is a furry artist that does comics. Not that I know. Hey Eric, what's up, buddy? Well, now I mean, now we have six people. It's not for long. I used your ketchup. <laughs> How do you get in your pants like that? That ketchup was for the single thing potatoes. <laughs> that whole <laughs> bottle of ketchup. That was worthless. Yeah, that fucked. It was for my potatoes. Yeah. So I'm just getting ready to... Just, uh, Eric Segway. Edit, edit, edit all this out. Yeah. Well, wow, I'm getting ready to put cherry in... Cherry sauce. Why Dude, do you have a those bag like of cherry tomatoes? Cherry tomatoes? Yeah, they should call them something. But they kind of look like grapes. Right? Grimace. Like cherry size? Yeah. It's weird. Right. <sighs> I'm proud of him. <laughs> cherry tomatoes. Sponsored by Cherry tomatoes. Wow, mm-hmm. I didn't need to censor. My dick don't work. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> remember that one? Yeah, I'll remember. Yeah. So are we racist? racist? No, just him. Oh, okay. <laughs> are, are all Germans racist? Well... That's a, I mean, that's a good <laughs> question. Um, so I'll get into that. Anyway, I'm just dick dog. I don't I'm remember what you're talking about. Did you like that sentence? I was dying every time it sped up really fast or slowed down. So I was only going to use it for that episode, but I don't know if I should just keep <laughs> using it. It's pretty good. <laughs> have you heard it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Kevin? Have you, have you heard it? The censor what? sound on the latest episode of Quay? No. It was Evan just going, my dick don't work. But wow. various speeds. Oh. <laughs> so there was one More point where... You just like stretched it or squished it for like the realm. So there was the one point where we were talking about where he was moving. And you were asking, is it closer to here or here? But you said two places. So I had two various speeds of my dick don't work. So is it... Is it closer to my dick don't work or my dick don't work? <laughs> this is uh, some behind the scenes quail today. Uh, oh my god. What's Stop up, bro? Burping. I'm dying. Man is Stop dying. it. You're not a fit. No, I'm not a hiccups. You're not a fish. No, I'm not a fish. No. And it also doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work. Uh, you know what else doesn't work? Nothing's <laughs> dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It works as a sensor, though. So. Sorry, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> we brought it hey. back up. Hey. We said it in episode 7 that we pick on people relentlessly and we don't let up, especially if it actually bothers someone. Um, so anyone else have any notes? <laughs> Anything to talk about? Um, you said you've made a thing. I have a thing, but it's for after. Okay. Don't, the only other thing I could really bring up is this weird show I watched the other day. Okay. Oh, fuck, what was, it, what was it called? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have anything else to mention first while I fucking find this name, you can go right ahead. I have to remember the name of this stupid yeah. anime. Listen to Roll for Stupidity. Why? What was it about? It, oh, it was about this middle-aged dad, this, like, average salaryman dad, whose daughter is dating this deadbeat. And it, within episode one, he murders the deadbeat and melts his body down. Okay, I have no idea what this is. To hide this. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Jesus. Where's... Well, Ninja. But Why? yeah, it's off to a very strong start. <laughs> Episode 2, his wife be- gets in on the crime. Okay. And they, they go about taking the melted dead man and planting it in their garden to hide it. As one does. Because they found out that the dude was involved with the Yakuza, mm. and now they're, getting, they're being investigated by the Yakuza. Is this new? It's brand new. It's only two episodes out right now. I'm trying to find the name of it. Oh, it's an anime? Or... It's an oh, anime. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it was like a documentary. Yeah. Oh my god. Is uh, it a new Mappa one? Did you just... No. <laughs> it's this it, thing I've been watching. It doesn't look like Mappa. It's not super high quality, like animation wise. Okay. Well, you. Well, uh, while, while uh, Jeff is looking for that, um, I'm very excited to get home uh, eventually. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> one of the one of the games from my childhood got uh, a collection. Ooh, the Mega recently. Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the so the for what I'm referring to is the Mega Man Battle Network collection. Yeah, and um, I enjoy, I really enjoyed those games as a kid, and that was also the way I was introduced to the Blue Bomber. So I'm ready to get home and like oh I've, get my hands I've, on that again. I think cause... I think I played Battle Network three on the Game Boy. Yeah, advanced. I was about to ask, is that the Game Boy ones? Yeah, yeah. they I started in Game Boy, but they went Game to Boy like to DS, DS, right? Yeah, Game yeah. Boy to DS. Yeah, I played. I know I played one on the Game Boy, and that's kind of what introduced me to Mega Man. So yeah, I don't play this often. Uh, so within one sentence, sell me on Mega Man because I've never played it before. Uh, Mario. jump and shoot, jump and shoot. Okay, <laughs> jump, 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 shoot, jump man. and shoot, man. Jump and shoot, man. And I found the name of the show. <laughs> nice eager raptor. <laughs> <laughs> the show is called My, My Home <laughs> Hero. My home here. Didn't hear about this. Yeah, this one here. But yeah, it's it it started out very strong with murder and, and crime. So I'm I'm gonna keep checking that out and keep you posted on it. That actually reminds me of uh, well, not reminds me, but I I've been reading a manga. Ren knows about it because we went out. And... You can't read. <laughs> you can't read. No, I can't you... read. What are you talking about? Right, right. <laughs> we we went out. Um, you can't read. Like last month or whatever. Maybe a month Is this ago. the the body pillow one? Yeah. So it's a manga that I started reading. It's called uh, The... What is it? Oh, fuck. What's it called? <laughs> we, none of us oh, came prepared. <laughs> That's called... It's okay. It's an unorganized called... episode of Quay today. It's called The Geek X Hitman. And it's all about a hitman who's from Italy. And he gets sent to do a job in Japan. Or no, he gets sent to do a job somewhere and finds what's essentially a figurine of Hatsune Miku. Um, and goes, oh my god, this is so cute. And he drops everything and moves to Japan and becomes a fucking otaku. That's <laughs> or, a mood. And then uh, the, pe- <laughs> the people start sending, like his old like uh, agency starts sending hitmen after him. And uh, they all fall in love with Japan, and they just start hanging out and being otakus and making a doujin, <laughs> doujin manga together. It's what? so funny. I don't like this manga because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this because I'm in it. It's it's actually so funny. Uh, I've got volume one and two. I've only read one so far, but oh my god, I'm fucking hooked. I love it. I just remember you flipped to like a random page and he's like cuddling. No, that's the cover. That's like the cover? The cover is him <laughs> holding a gun and a body pillow of this like essentially like Hatsune Miku. Now, is this it guy... is red. <laughs> <laughs> this guy ripped or is he like a neck beard? Uh, he vaguely reminds me of um, uh, Professor Aizawa from My Hero. The, uh, the teacher. The teacher. Oh. Red. Lanky. He looks a lot like him. Yeah. <laughs> No, Man, that that kind of sells me on if he's that dead inside. I love it so much, and uh, but he's just like really nerdy, and like his uh, code name is O T for or T O for the Oracle. But uh, when he moved to Japan, everyone calls him uh, T O Top Otaku. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's a good like I was like, I usually don't like burst out laughing while reading. I was doing it like, I did it like four or five times while reading mm-hmm. this one manga. <laughs> It was very funny. And what's the name of the manga? The Geek X Hitman. What the fuck? It's so funny. It's so good. Very good manga. I would I would highly recommend. 
I think the only one that's ever made me laugh out loud was reading uh, Love is War. Okay. That, that one got some good laughs out of me. Mm. It's a good one. I, uh, we, uh, Robin and I watched it. The, the show good. elevates it to 11, but the, the manga is like, still like a 10 out of 10. Okay. I, I still think that the funniest experience we ever had with anime was back at Jeff's house when we did the trifecta of anime. And I introduced you and Evan to Testament. My house? My house? Uh, no. Scott's house? Scott's house. No, your house. Now you were there. Yeah. You were there. You were there when we moved up to near college. Yeah. So I had remembered this anime totally wrong. I oh my God. yeah. <laughs> Just I accidentally ended up showing a hentai during the an anime movie night. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because so we were trying to decide what show we want to start yeah. with, and I came up with one. Evan and Kevin all okay, came different ones, and we watched one episode of each. Yeah. And we watched, I don't remember what mine and Evan were, but we sat down and turned on Kevin's. And it was, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin there's an uncensored version. He goes, what? And I click on it. No! <laughs> I told you not to click on it! So I cl- you watched the censored so version! So I clicked on it. Oh. On the uncensored version. We watched it. And there's like this scene where he's like pouring like ma- ma- maple, maple syrup, syrup all over syrup. her titties. And I'm like, I remember, Kevin, what are I remembered it so wrong. I was like, yeah, I was like, an action one is about this guy who's like in like the Heroes Guild. His family's like the devils and they're on like the like opposite side. And then I'm watching it I was like, what did I remember the show being? I don't remember all this nudity here. What the fuck is this? And then like the maple syrup thing came and I'm like, this man. is the show. Yeah, I was like, man, yeah. we are all sharing one blank blank here. I am yeah. worried. We're all like right beside each other on this really long couch. <laughs> we're, one blank. we're all just cuddling next to one another, watching soft car hentai. What was like Devil's New uh, Devil's... Testament to Testament to New Devil's Sister? <laughs> what wholesome family fun! <laughs> it was wholesome as hell. In case anyone's curious at home. I I will say though that I do remember enjoying the story of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't re- I, I don't remember high school DxD for yeah. the story. Yeah. yeah, I watch it for the plot. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say because as we were watching it, you and Evan were like, "This is just knockoff high school DxD." It was. It literally was. <laughs> Except it had sex scenes. <laughs> Except it... So better high school. <laughs> In some ways, yes. It's, it's okay. They're not related by blood. They're adopted. Oh, they're I adopted. forgot that. They're adopted. It's okay. I forgot that was actually a plot point. Oni yeah. Chan, I'm stuck. Please yeah. help. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Again, I don't Step rem- I don't. Please. I don't <laughs> remember what I liked about that show. I was like, yeah, like the story was great. Like, eventually does get good, but, like, they have, like, a tournament arc and everything, but, like, at the beginning, you gotta get through some questionable shit, Guess and I think, and I think that my brain sort of, like, blocked all of that out, so when they're like, hey, what do you want to watch? I'm like, I got just the fucking show. <laughs> so anyways, Kevin ruined anime night. <laughs> <laughs> we never had hey, another one. at some point, I said, okay, we need to stop this, it's too much, and then I introduced you guys to Sergeant Frog. Oh, that was a good Kiroro one. Gun, Gun, so, which is a... Fantastic oh, an- anime from funny. long ago. Mm-hmm. Very funny. But like yes, I, I did scar you just a little <laughs> bit <laughs> on a very too small of couch for three men. <laughs> it, was, it was just like when we watched um, Food Wars. <laughs> no. It's not a head time. Food but Wars like, over Discord. We, we watched completely it. different. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, not hentai. Second of all, not, not next hentai. To each other. <laughs> Literal food porn. It was good. <laughs> like it was like the characters were good. Food the, was good. The story yeah. was good, and it was just like, oh, it's also fan service. <laughs> Isn't that show just fan service? It's mostly fan service. Yeah. I, I never watched with it. with food. We talk about food. Plot's actually pretty good. It is. Okay, it's yeah, either it's Food good. Wars or um, what's the volleyball one? High Q. Or High Q. I watched High Q. Oh High-Q's yeah, good. dude. <laughs> We watched those back to back. Yeah. Actually, High Q Food Wars. I think that's no, exactly that was the other way around. Was it the other way? I think it was the other way around. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I did. You guys were like, "Oh, we, I recommend this. I recommend this." And I was like, "All right," and like I watched it like a year after you guys, but I still mm. watched it in like the same order. <laughs> when was Yuri on Ice? Was that also Scott's that house? Scott's house. Yeah, yeah. you like binge watched that in like one day. Yeah, you and Evan just went to fucking town. No, I don't think Evan even watched it. What? I think it was me and you. <laughs> It was me, but I jumped in like halfway through, and I was like, I'm completely lost. And then you I got saw to see the guy come on. Yeah, up. I was gonna say I got what? to see it. Like I think like he was like Russian or something. I think it was the Canadian. He, what he came right on the ice, and I'm like, oh, Ren, what is this? There's sh- this French Canadian dude. 
and he's like doing his his performance on he the ice. Really he's, like, loves around. Ice. he's like he really oh. loves ice ice skating. <laughs> In the middle of his performance. Well, listen, Yuri on it's ice a, is it's great. A, it's a gay anime. No, I know that. Okay, I didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> I knew Which, what Yuri on ice was. We kept making. We kept pointing out. I was like, Ren, when is like the Yuri gonna show 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 up? This is just Yowie. The guy's name is Yuri. There's that's, two guys named Yuri. That's how they get you. One of them was Russian. That's how they get you. That's how they got you. That's how they get you. It's Yuri on ice. No, the fucking guy's name is Yuri. I was bamboozled. <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't Super Smash Bros. <laughs> I've been tricked. I've been bamboozled. And quite possibly back. What? I fucked up. Quite possibly back. Oh no. Backed. <laughs> <sighs> I like to think that we're less degenerate now than we were back then. I might be more. Oh fuck. Oh, <laughs> that actually reminds me. Uh-oh. Uh oh. This question's mainly for Ren, but anyone can, uh, can answer it. Yeah, the pimple is gone. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Kevin, can you please answer that? <laughs> what? Um, no, no. Um, do you prefer e girls or eye ladies? Shut the fuck up. What the fuck is what? an eye lady? What's an eye lady? Eye lady's nuts on your mouth. <laughs> Got him! You're a fool, Jeff. <laughs> I, I, I figured you would know. I knew exactly where you were going. <laughs> because I was actually preparing some of those. Uh, and I can't do them this, this, time, this one. Alright, next time. Good. I heard it. I can't remember where I heard it. I heard it on a video and I got Robin with it. And it, was, it was good. I walked her right she, into that. She wanted me to do it on the D&D podcast. And I was like, no, this is a Quay thing. Oh, is that why she whispered in yeah. your ear? And I was like, no, like, do, right the thing, do the yeah. thing, kid. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny to think about. Oh, my so God. sorry for getting you guys. So, uh, yeah, like yeah we were talking about being less D Gen. Being um, less degenerate now than we were back then. It is one of my talking points. <laughs> oh no! E girls are eye ladies. <laughs> Got them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I agree with. That. <laughs> what? We agree with what? Oh, the degen. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if we're we're pretty degens. Though. Josh owns every single Sakura game in existence. <laughs> yeah, Josh. They're not allowed to know that. They're all in the secret hard drive. Only Josh yeah. does. Yeah. Right, Ren? Yeah, only Josh. Only Josh. Subscribe. <laughs> God. I fucking wish that we managed to save the uh, pinball game. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, peach ball? <laughs> yeah. It's it's the Sakura best video we ever recorded. I still remember just Sakura? screaming and looking it? over yeah. at Josh. Oh, and no, poor Josh has his yeah, hands Sakura. over his ears because we're saying, Yeah! Go! <laughs> I think I lost my my fucking voice after that video. That was you guys were science, drunk, right? right? No. You guys were, we weren't even drinking at that point. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a for science. Yeah, that was a for science. So we used to do that like, was a series where we just played anime games. Anime or just risque games. <laughs> and uh, this was for a, science. This was a pinball game with anime girls. So I'm sure you can guess what happens. Uh, yes, they all dress respectfully. Yes. And they slowly the, get less and less up. respectful. You hit the power up and you can and start they, touching the girls. And they continue to... They this continue is on the Nintendo up. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah. we're just going... We're just going ham. Me, Evan, Dude. and Kevin, we're just going fucking ham. Yeah, but you know what else? That was just three And what Josh is, is just <laughs> fucking existing. What, what was that risque game? Was... Pinball game, the the risque game that you had to buy in person here in... Yeah, yeah and then, like, the guy behind, like, the other counter's like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I just got this game. Like, what's it about? And <laughs> you're just like... like <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, just a pinball game. <laughs> you had to pick it up like, oh, person. what? And he's, like, looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. Can I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had no this idea was, what uh, the, the video, video game was. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, like, this dude <laughs> running the small-ass shop. It's like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Did you have a special what a order? Poor guy. Right? No, he just no, he had just it had in it. stock. No, he just had it. I, bet... I think I was looking for something else and went, no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a European copy. Mm. It says Peggy 18 on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a pure man of God. I would never play one of those. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Mm. I had to witness it. <laughs> you, you had to, you had had to, to win- see us at our most <laughs> primal instincts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Literally the best video that's never gone up. Never and it it's, never it's will. Shame. It's so corrupted. Can we remake it. No, <laughs> we, we can no, never can re something like that. No. Lightning can never be recaptured in a bottle. It is a it was a one time thing. Well, you still have my original reaction to it because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> 
so we you, could always get a point. You, you could. have to recreate the reaction of three people. You could you could play it with Going me. Absolutely fucking <laughs> feral. You could play it with me and Robin. <laughs> and you'd get a lot of me being uncomfortable and Robin going, what the fuck? It was like, it was like primal, primal <coughs> like instincts. Yeah. It came back <laughs> into us. We literally went full unga bunga. <laughs> Grab the titties! Grab the titties! <laughs> Her claws came off! <laughs> <laughs> but, I, like, didn't we start off like calm and then you guys yeah, went in? Yeah. yeah. Just, like, we just kept going. We're playing pinball. Yeah. And like, tits are like showing up. <laughs> And then afterwards, we all relaxed in Evan's hot tub. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Then we was discovered... That was a magical like freaking weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're, try, we're trying to... We're doing something where we're trying to get two mics to work on one Audacity file. Mm. And we were testing with that. You shouldn't have tested with that one. Uh, you <laughs> you damn tested. fool. But and to then... be fair, I don't think that we would have even known how amazing that video was going to no, be until wasn't. like halfway through. We thought it. we were just doing a normal for science where we were just like, haha, this game's stupid. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been thinking about getting a uh, like a mixer so we can use like four mics on one thing. It's just... If we do that though, we got to get like the cardio mics. That Yeah, that's the only issue because we all have like USB mics. Yeah. So we'd have to replace all our microphones and yeah. that's even more money. Because I saw at Best Buy they had the AT2020 for like 120 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but I, it's just the mixer itself is. A, I also need to get a mixer one of these days. I'm sort of just slacking on it. Mm. I'm just in the boat, and my audio is fine. Mm. Well, yeah, this is pretty good. It, it, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's just, the only thing is when you're recording multiple things. Like if we were to do D and D, we could have the mixer, and everyone could have a microphone. Yeah, and then we could all just like you know we'll do that. We, we don't have, have to like talk loud. Talk louder than natural. Mm. Yeah. And then yeah, I just the audio would sound a lot clearer. The the funny thing for me is that I just naturally talk loud. Yeah. So it's like Yeah, me too. I'm I'm naturally oh, okay. quiet. <laughs> I'm No, I I oh. noticed that and that actually is really nice, especially when like editing and stuff. Because like I've got uh I found DaVinci as a uh a soft or a setting to just like automate levels. Yeah. Oh okay. So yeah. it's, it's really nice. That doesn't work on me. Yeah, it it's weird. It also, doesn't like, like match you guys to like my loud shit. It yeah. also doesn't yeah, like okay. my voice. Mo- most audio things don't like my voice. Yeah, because yeah. you're Asian. Straight, I was gonna say straight. <laughs> <time, laughs> doesn't like <laughs> Ren and Josh. It knows. <laughs> oh my god! Like, I, I don't mean it. It just kind of like ha- it just naturally happens, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'm just loud. <laughs> all right. oh, That's why I like I Josh try not to charisma, dude. I try that not to rings. like talk too much because i was like i know i'm loud so i'm like all right yeah. let me fucking i recently learned that's what that meant what riz charisma it's charisma my uh my... wait that's what that means yeah my 16 year old cousin was telling me about it during, <laughs> during charisma, Easter, my guy? like this the riz thing came up i don't know i'm like fucking yeah why don't we or <laughs> so so my cousin was like uh he was like oh that's a, you gotta uh, Something, something Riz W, and I was like, oh, okay, I understand what W, and, uh, Riz, uh, and he goes, it means charisma. I was like, are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> I've just hit a point with all these things that pop up. It's like I, I'm just gonna accept it. Mm-hmm. I understand. <laughs> yes, I, I was Riz saying. means they do a funny face, and all the ladies love it. Yes, yeah. I was the same thing with the uh, Final Fantasy like lingo. Like, like, it's more MMO lingo, mm-hmm. so, like, the fucking wave, I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's like an O and a... Oh, it's a oh. wave! Oh! Uh, o slash. Yeah, slash. yeah, the O yeah, slash, and then, like... Now I can't not use it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I use it, I'm like, every every time I'm in a, in a chat and I'm I'm there to announce my presence, I go mm-hmm. O slash, and yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, I don't know everybody yeah. knows what that is. Yeah, every time you're in your ERPG servers, <laughs> yeah. you love using the circle wave. You know, just so let those... people know that you're open for all, all private those, chats. Uh, all those, uh... it's waving, guy. <laughs> all, <laughs> all those uh, cat ladies in Limsa, you know. <laughs> Hard to avoid them. Can't go back. <laughs> Hard to avoid them. 500 Jill for 20 minutes. <laughs> So you guys prefer e girls or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, big titty goth girls. That's fair. That's fair. Absolutely. Um, I'm playing a lot of Fallout Four lately. Uh oh. Modded? No. What? So that's I'm why. Mm. No, no, no. So no. <laughs> when I when Fallout Four first came out, I was like, yeah, I'm down because I played three. I played New Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play Fallout Four. And I I played a little bit of it, and then I just started modding the shit out of it. And when I mod games, I just I was like, I want my mods. So I start like just 
fiddling with the code and giving me my shit, and then I stop yeah. playing because it's not fun because I'm not playing. Yeah. So I've been making it a point to play with no mods. So it's free on uh, PlayStation Plus, and I'm like, all right, I'm playing it start to finish. I'm yeah. getting achievements. I'm doing this. So I'm not playing Dude. That. When, when Fallout 4 came out, that was like the first time they allowed mods on console, mm -hmm. and my little boy brain on Xbox One had his mind blown. Right? <laughs> Even like the basic mods they gave us, my brain was like, oh my god, Skyrim power armor? <laughs> yeah. But no, Fallout 4 is a surprisingly great game that a, a lot of people hate on for the like the voice acting and stuff, yeah. but like the game's good. The only things like I would mod it with but then i, I just don't want to like lose the it's like, less settlements that need our help oh. <laughs> no it's it's not even that i, That's I the prefer, reason i don't play it anymore <laughs> i prefer it in like fallout 3 in new vegas where you can see the entire dialogue option mm. um i want uh just in terms of like role playing i like being able to see my weapon on my back or on my hip and those are like the main two Wait, complaints. That's not in the base game. No, in Fallout Four you can't do that. No. Nope. Wait, just, did I... you put your you put your weapon away and it's gone. What? Yeah, you don't holster your weapon; it just disappears like yeah, entirely. You stick it in your pit boy. I, unless, I was gonna say that. unless you have like a pistol, I think, but like nothing goes on. No, yeah, no, nothing. It's nothing. completely just gone. Yeah. Damn. Then I had that mod for the entire time I was playing it because I remember that. Yeah, yeah, Fallout Three and New Vegas they did that, and then they're like, let's just get rid of it. Before. Mm -hmm. All I'm asking for. Make Fallout New Vegas 2 in the Fallout 4 engine. I'd be okay with that. I, I think people are making similar, like a, like a standalone. Well, yeah. Just give us Fallout New Vegas 2. Microsoft owns both like the companies now. Mm -hmm. Just make it happen. Just what, printing what, money. What, just play a Fallout 76. Oh, God. Don't <laughs> talk about that. Just, just play Fallout 76. Can I? Talk we're on season seven, guys. We're going strong. What the fuck? I bought the tricentennial edition of that game. Pre-order bonus. I pre-ordered that game too. I pre-ordered that game as well. Jesus. I, um... On Steam. Yeah. I, I've never regretted pre-ordering a game more. I Cyberpunk. <laughs> I never. I never pre-ordered that. I did. I did. So I didn't I, buy into the hype. I played it day one. Mm -hmm. How was that? Uh, well, it was, it was around Christmas time. I was on Christmas break. I'm like, oh boy, it's great. Like, mm. COVID is still here. Like, people are not going out. I'm just going to sit here, just play video games all day long. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The frame rate, the fucking glitches. And it's just like, oh, there's half a key on a Reeves. <laughs> Where'd the rest of them go? The bottom half. <laughs> <laughs> the only part that matters. The only part. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> 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 It's unfortunate that game came out that way, man. Like, <laughs> I thought I'm, you were just going to stop. Game. I thought That's you were just going to stop. It's unfortunate <laughs> that game came out, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, now now they basically said, like, we're done with Cyberpunk. We're going to start working on Cyberpunk 2. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully they learned all their mistakes. Well, they, they're, gonna, the, they're releasing DLC. Yeah, they're doing the expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing a Tales, like, Tales of like, Lib like Liberty or what, what, whatever. And then afterwards, like, once they release that, they're going to start working on, like, the second game. Mm -hmm. But, like, before, when, like, it first came out, like, they're like, yeah, we're, we're gonna have something, like, GTA Online, where it's, like, a, like, online instance of, like, the world map. Where I'd you actually do, be okay with that. Which, I'm guessing that's what they're gonna push into, like, Cyberpunk 2 now. Mm -hmm. To, like, take all those ideas and just push it into that one. Maybe they'll make cops work properly. No, they did. They no longer spawn right in front of you. Yeah, but they, do they really pursue you for long or drive after you? I think that's part of anything? the DLC. You're yeah, going to have to wait for that. Oh, the yeah. cop DLC. Right now, the cops are still kind of pathetic. Yeah. yeah, they go, hey, stop. And you go, no. I've they're never like, even right. seen a cop in Neither game. Have I. Yeah. No, they're like, there. I've seen them, but they're, they're, they exist. They chase you. I've seen them on the radar. I've never had them shoot me. They only chase you on foot. If you drive away, they're like, bye. <laughs> Okay, see you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After seeing Edge Edge Runner and what like those cops are like, and what like, they could have been, yeah, what like like they could have been like, what the fuck, you Polish bastards? <laughs> oh yeah, like they show them in the beginning of the game just yeah, fucking mowing Mac, down Max, this guy. Mm -hmm. This is like Max Tech or Max Tax. Like they just yeah. Like, yeah Max Tech. Yeah, they just show up. They just like obliterate anything in sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that made me fear the cops, and like I accidentally kill a civilian. And it's like no one's there. It's like, oh. Oh, and I guess I'll just slaughter everyone. Well, no, I didn't do that. No, well, me neither. I'm a nice guy <laughs> with mantis blades in his arms, okay? Uh, I use the the whip. Yes, I don't know. The, uh, the mono wire. The mono wire. Yeah. Yeah. I never, I never used or that. Or just that good. fucking gorilla arms. Yeah, I was going to say, I was always a uh, gorilla arms kind of guy. Because like those quests where you have to go like around like like the city, 
and box all of those people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, you That's know, I'll just get so the good. like gor- like the gorilla arms, just beat the. Fuck I thought out that was it. hilarious. That they allowed that. Mm. Like, and then you use like ever since like Edge Runners come out, they've got like the the Sandeva stamp. Yeah. So well, they had it, but now it's like, yeah. better. Yeah. Um, I love just like yeah during the boxing match, just slowing time and just <laughs> one shot everybody landing like five blows in like <laughs> one second. <laughs> Yeah, it, it really made, like, guns obsolete. <laughs> yeah, no, that game is very good at making you just love punching people in the face. I hurt my arm. <laughs> oh, Doing what? Was a I needed go go gorilla arms. Arm. Adam, <laughs> Adam Smasher got what he deserved. Yeah, I, yeah. Get yeah, the I, shit out of that dude. Oh, I, yeah, I did kill him with bare hands. I had Adam Smasher. I restarted Smash it a couple times. Just, <laughs> just to kick his... This is for Rebecca! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's like, this is for Johnny. I was like, fuck Johnny. This is for Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> this is for David. This is for <laughs> Rebecca. Oh. Good it, show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it just goes to, to show that if your game is shit, just Listen to just, uh, just <laughs> release a anime based in like the like the setting, and it'll be fixed. Everyone will forgive you. It sounds, sounds like Sonic true. Boom. <laughs> well, also, well, I mean, Sonic Boom didn't fix it, so. Yeah. <laughs> True. Made... Cyberpunk patched itself out, then released the anime. Yes, um, they did a big patch. I think like the same week the anime started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they added like all the like the locate. Well, not the locations, but they like re- go get the jacket. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say they, they basically a like a whole bunch of, like Easter eggs to like the show. Like mm-hmm. here's Rebecca's gun, where she died. I mean, yeah, that's like the smartest thing they did. I think they had like seventy k players that week or something like yeah. that. Oh yeah, they're stupid. Just imagine they had like a GTA on online type of service where you just go online, you level up like like your guy, and you just go on like heist with everybody. Do you know CD Projekt Red didn't want Rebecca in the anime? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they no. didn't. Yeah, and like lollies don't exist in in. Cyberpunk. And, that's not and Trigger was like, Yeah, true. Now they don't do. care. We're, you, we we're are, doing yeah, it. We are. <laughs> that's like, not true. <laughs> <laughs> they threatened to walk yeah. if they couldn't have Re- Rebecca in the anime because they're like, This is what people would do if they had it. Yeah. And it's like, she became like one of the best characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would. I guess I, not really, but I would kind of count uh, Judy. No, not not really. as a lolly, no. just like, I don't know, petite, but. No, I just, just not. No, not he's, a child, Rebecca, I he's just a normal sized no. person. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I have a game for you guys called Real or Fake Florida Man. Yay. Oh, no. So I have three sets of this. I have three headlines. Two are real, one is fake. I'm going to read them out, and I want you guys to guess which it is, and then uh, once. Which, which, which one's the fake one? Which one is fake? Can okay. You... Can we just saw Florida off of America, let it float off into the no, ocean? No, it's a treasure, and I want to keep it. No. Especially after reading through the list. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll start. This is round one. How do you think a million points be without Florida? It would be if you guess it right, no, it'd, it'd be, be so better. crazy. Okay. That's where all the crazy goes. Okay, sorry. Uh, what did you ask, Ryan? Uh, points. Yeah, if you guess it right, you get a point. Whoever gets the most there. points, uh, three rounds. Oh, okay. If you win, you get shipped off to Florida. Yeah. So yes. don't win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Round one. For- Florida man releases bees inside of local restaurant. Florida man suspected of using private plane to draw a giant radar penis. And Florida man charged with deadly assault for throwing alligator through drive through window. I think the bee... Oh, oh, do we say it aloud or... I'm gonna s I'm gonna throw it a curveball here. I think that they're all correct. <laughs> not like they're all true. You're trying to fucking trick us. <laughs> oh we'll see. I'm gonna go with A. Josh? I'm gonna go with C. Uh Cameron is right. Florida man releases bees was fake. Too, so there was too a tame. Like, too tame <laughs> for Florida. I, that that one I was How like. Do you throw an alligator through a drive-through window. I don't, I don't fucking know. Throw an alligator through a drive-through window. <laughs> do it. If they're so pissed off, you just do it. <laughs> I don't know how they got the alligator there, but anyway. I feel like I remember that story. One point for Cam. Yes. I feel bad for the alligator. You know, he had to go through the a most, drive-through window. The most believable one was the radar one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, the penis radar. Yeah, yeah I'm like, like wait, I looked... absolutely a Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, round two. Uh, Florida men planning to shoot down Hurricane Irving. 
<laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> that sounds real immediately. Florida man climbs playground equipment to tell children where babies come from. <laughs> and Florida man travels into woods and ca- captures squirrels and forces them t- into his dollhouse. Does he staple them? I'm gonna go no, with... not not that C. game. I'm, gonna go I'm going with C. C. Yeah. I'm yeah. going. I'm saying that the fake one is the playground one. I'm with Kevin. So you two are C. You two are B. Yes. yes. Cameron Ren, you're right. Yes. Oh my god. You're catching Wait. on to me. I know my floor. Cam has been to Florida. He's seen all these crimes. <laughs> He's true. secretly a Florida native. I am a Florida man. I watched you play Staples. <laughs> Staples. Dude, that game still haunts me. <laughs> God is here. Oh, God is God here. is coming. <laughs> Wait, you've played that game? I've seen. I've seen what, what what's his face play it, like the one like horror you. Yeah, did. yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, God no. is God is. That coming. scared the fuck out of me. Anyway, I haven't seen it. I just. Uh, it's fucked up. Listen, the man has a fantastic wife. Just <laughs> she's very beautiful. Yeah. She's very beautiful. Uh, Florida man steals neighbor's peacock. Gets chased by angry birds. Florida man breaks into ex-wife's home, steals all of her food, and then leaves. And then Florida man stabs tourists despite having no arms. <laughs> a. I'll C. go with A. I'll go with C. Oh, oh. so we're tied. Fuck. I don't. I don't have a tiebreaker. You're losing your fucking edge. I don't. I don't have my rock paper scissors die. Switch down finger. All right. Bend over, Jeff. <laughs> okay. Whoever goes deeper wins. <laughs> Have you guys ever done the Florida Man birthday challenge? Yes, I don't remember what it is though. I have not. So Let's you, you okay. look up so, your birthday yeah, yeah. plus Florida plus Man. Florida Florida. Flo- 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 okay. Flo- so you pull out your phone, you look up the year your, and everything. Yeah. No, 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 nothing, not the year, just the day and the month. So like September the third, Florida Man. Okay. Oh my god, it auto corrects to a bunch of dates. Are we just looking for uh, like the first one? The first <laughs> one. <laughs> I got mine. Florida man robs store dressed as Spider Man. <laughs> sure, that's not Eric. <clears throat> it could have been Eric. Right? I got Florida Florida man charged with battery for giving girlfriend a wet willy. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> right. just type it into Google. Yeah. Yeah. Then the first result. Yeah. I got, Month oh, okay. day Florida man. I got Florida man claiming to be Alice in Wonderland says hookah smoking caterpillar told him to to destroy liquor store with forklift. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what'd you get? Watch. Florida man jumps into crocodile pit, gets pit, and claims he was held captive. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get, Rick? Drunk Florida man tries to use Taco as ID after his car catches fire at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Florida man is a gift that keeps on giving. Mine is so fucking long. <laughs> like the second it's one. It's a fucking light novel title. <laughs> Jeff just looked like the second one. It's just... Florida man arrested after pooping. <laughs> That's, so That's it. That's it. That's his only crime. Is poop. How dare the you story. poop? How dare you poop? You're getting arrested. <laughs> the cops are just ho- so like high, high strung there. <laughs> it was a good game, Jeff. Yeah, sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I wish I had more time to prepare it, but oh, I was like, good. I'll give at least three rounds. You're good. Yeah, that's all you, I got. You stumped at least one person every round, so it was good. I'm happy. I was hoping my made-up ones weren't too bad because I had no time to think of it. No, you're, I you're finished good. with zero points. I'm my proud of myself. No, so it's I fine. Zero points. I, I was like, I have to use squirrels because so many of them I found had squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with squirrels in Florida? I don't know. There's this They're all on one podcast I listen to that also <laughs> talks about Florida man stories, and one was like... She trained squirrels to go bite her ex-husband's nuts off. Yeah, that was the Cox and Crane. Yeah, Crane yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Cox and Crane. Crane door. Anyone else have anything? Uh, well, we're all wearing glasses. That's a we all we're all yeah, fucking the glasses podcast. We all have, huh? we all have terrible eyesight. Everybody take off your glasses and Every, whip your cock out. Everybody take off your glasses and trade it with the person next <laughs> oh, to God. you. Let's all uh, see what everybody's prescription no, is like. I'm not ruining my eyes. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, That's my. fair. My eyes are already fucked, man. <sighs> Jeff has the eyes like a 75 year year old man. Dude, they are fucked up, up from all the chemicals in my work. 
Sue. <laughs> Sue for new eyes. So you, you know or what's... call Mr. Beast, because apparently he's fixing eyes now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll, I'll call yeah. Mr. Beast. I'll, I'll hit him Jesus, up. Suddenly Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Beezus. <laughs> I'll hit up Mr. Beast, and I'll hit up Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Well, Beans. Bean. Oh, oh, Titty! <laughs> Titty! Titty! I, uh... <laughs> I've got, uh... It's more of a... So, I had a dream lately. Or oh, wow. the other night. There were basically, like... I was in a, uh... It was like... It was like a class, essentially. And we were doing projects. Um, and... But it was picked... The project was picked at random and we had to or so it was a random embarrassing moment that just played on presentation for the entire class oh god and you just had to like be like this is what happened um <laughs> and, but it wasn't it was like just from like a third perspective like a third, third person perspective yeah. so you could see everything that actually happened uh instead of just your own like perspective hmm. um and it was horrible but it got me thinking uh would you present a random embarrassing moment to uh like if it, you didn't get the pick it just like you were presenting it and it just randomly it's random for you mm. uh it had to be a random one but it's like one of your most embarrassing moments would you do it for a million dollars yes yeah yeah i think so i don't yeah. care who finds out my kinks i want any a million dollars all right all right would you do it if you had to do it to every person you ever met no. No, that's way... So a million that's, dollars. That's every time much... you meet a person, you have to be like, so this is my embarrassing story. That's too much work. Does have to be a different story every single time? It's random, so maybe. <laughs> maybe. No, because that one, you would never be able to find someone. They'll know immediately the worst part of you. That's fair. <laughs> Unless they're also into it, then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have one of those times in school where you had to do a presentation and just completely flubbed it immediately? I started yes. crying during my French presentation, mm -hmm. and I was still I, and I was still talking in perfect French, but like the like whole time I was like, yeah. So this is what I did last summer. That's English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well I don't know French anymore. After grade nine, I was like, do you want to take French again? No. Yeah, no, I'm good. No, I don't need to cry in front of the class anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that was in grade nine. <laughs> like I remember, I think it was grade three. I had to do like a presentation for a book report, mm. and I at the time had no people talking skills yep so i remember i like i i had my paper with me that had like all my notes and i just i think i sped through them and went yep that's it and then just walked off <laughs> that's a classic i just was like make... all right i'm done i just used to make videos no, like I, I stood there awkwardly for a minute it's like Ooh. yep that's it bye uh, something similar for me in grade four we had to do uh speeches yeah yep. and uh i wrote a speech about sonic Ooh. And then at the end, I'm like, Ooh. clap now. Uh, <laughs> and then proceed clapping. You, yeah. did, you did the freaking, like, Jeb Bush thing. <laughs> please, please clap. Please clap. <laughs> clap now. I don't want to read anymore. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I always used to just make videos. I'd be like, hey, can I just, like, record everything and then just play it? And usually the teacher's like, yeah, whatever. I remember the one time I made a video for class. I was, I, I was told to send it to my teacher so he could screen it. But he immediately lost it, and I got a mark of zero. What the fuck? That's messed up. That's stupid. I think it was grade eight science. I got. <laughs> I'm still salty about this. My art grade. You know about it. We Ren and I had an art class in grade ten together. I think grade ten, maybe eleven. Uh, ten. Yeah, ten. Uh, we had art class together, and um, uh, our teacher was like, "All right, you need to draw an animal." Mm -hmm. And like I'll grade you on that, right? And just just draw, like sketch, make them look good from a different picture, and like you can use the same picture and like just enlarge it essentially, right? Yeah. So you know where you like segment it and all that shit. So uh, everyone was doing animals, and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing an animal because it's boring. So I drew uh, Gavin Free. <laughs> um, I mean, technically that's an animal, right? Technically, <laughs> technically humans animals. Yeah. Right. No, I got a I got a fifty because. Uh, <laughs> I, my drawing was fine, but not an animal, so I'm still salty about it. I'm still so mad about it. <laughs> well, was it a good drawing? It was, I you, thought it was a good do drawing. Do you still have it? I do still have the drawing. I will, I'll will. i bring it to the next uh, Quay or maybe D&D, &D and I'll, I'll show you. I think it was also the teacher where 
uh, it was me, you, and Evan B. Yeah. Right? And we, we did the exams, like, back to back to back. And they straight up, she told uh, me and Evan not to take art in the future. I was like, what the What? Wow. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> she was not a great teacher. No, she was not. She was art, not. art teacher. Wait, you said grade 10. I think we had the same art teacher. We might have. You might have, yeah, I think you might have been in the same class. I'm not sure about that, but I remember that teacher. I feel bad because she liked me. <laughs> she, like, I don't know. She was okay, but, like, she wasn't great. <laughs> no. And then I retook grade 11 and grade 12. Mm-hmm. And she was like, they, they loved everything that me and Evan did. <laughs> I was just sitting there drawing Pokemon all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, for one of the projects, they had, we did like line art where we drew something and then like had to like just like draw around it a bunch and kind of make it look interesting. I drew the marker from Dead Space. <laughs> so it was just super like creepy looking. Mm. I think I got a good mark on that. But I was like, man, this is fucking You, you didn't tell shit. them what it was, right? It was just like no, a, a marker. I was just, yeah, I was just like, I drew this. <laughs> man if I was an art teacher and I saw that just come from a student I'd be worried <laughs> maybe that's what you're doing bit. at home uh, playing Dead Space oh. I was like satanic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play video games miss <laughs> they're an art form yeah it's true. right yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah no they're yeah. technically an art form mm-hmm. oh man I wish I could draw dude <laughs> I'm glad that I can draw. I wouldn't make too much porn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I deserve that power. I the wish internet. I could draw so much porn. I feel I don't like pay for that. I feel like I can draw decently well, but I just it's so much work. I just don't do it. It's too much work. Yeah. I, I tried relearning how to draw on a tablet. I gave up after like a week or two. It's so much fucking work. That's my wrist. Uh, I'm yeah. learning how to draw like maps and shit, like for D and D, like those mountains. I'm very proud of. Like those look like mountains. <laughs> look at yes! the fucking mountains. I drew. Uh, I did all the art for the the our campaign. The only one I actually did was my character. Like I drew. Everyone else, I kind of like traced from your forge. <laughs> I mean, whatever, dude. <laughs> like I changed some stuff. And, like, I still think we should cover up that shoulder, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> Keep keep like keep like the like the shining shine. light yeah like the shining star there, per just protect all of our young viewers. <laughs> so I I drew it and I like did all the shading and stuff and Robin was like you gave her boob shading I was like yeah, <laughs> why not? I'll give my character boob shading if I want. She, she got boob shine I was like yeah, <laughs> and their boobs, boobs are shiny. Is there a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Have you never seen boobs before? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> have you never seen? <laughs> have, well, have you never seen drawn boobs before? Yeah, I've you seen go, drawn no, boobs. Never, not once. Not nope. once. I'm a good boy. <laughs> not first back Christian. to the start of the episode. <laughs> I'm Christian. It's like it's, it's like when Sakurai said that all like the Smash players were good little boys. <laughs> oh God. Smash for good boys and girls. <laughs> no. Nope. No one else. No one else. I'm gonna throw a pyro. Cover you up. Looks <laughs> over at the melee community. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> emphasis on good girls, right? Oh, oh my God. moving on. <laughs> yeah. Step away from the fact that kids' party games attract pedophiles. Uh, I got. I, I have another work story. Go ahead, tell us. It enraged me. It made me want to quit my job. Oh, I know Your all about that. Job? My weekend job, yeah. Um, my two shift a week job. I wanted to quit because I was so pissed off. So, sorry. You scared me. Tell us your woes. You got it. Oh, oh, sweet child. It was actually the only shift I had that week because it was Easter. So I went in on Saturday, which is apparently our busiest day of the year, and uh, I had to go to. Um, I'm gonna bleep everything. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> no, Evan's dick don't work. It's fine. <laughs> um, so I do it on... And, uh, like, we go there early, and there's three other... Or two other people, so it's three people working, uh, like, there in the morning. And the schedule says start at 7, but they're usually pretty lenient with it. And I usually start at 8, and I'm still the first one there. Every week. That's not good. So they usually... The other two usually start at 9. And I was like, alright, so I can be a little late. Whatever. So I got up at 7.30 and I'd received a text from my boss uh, saying, hey, have you started your day yet? And I was like, no, not yet. I'll be there in a couple minutes. Um, and he's like, okay, well, you need to be on time. 
like you're you're late officially so you need to be on time and i was like all right sorry it won't happen again i'll be there at seven from now on um got to work again i first person there didn't know when he showed up till nine um and uh so the guys got there and i was like did you guys receive texts about showing up on time no no so it was only me that got a text um and then i got a text from the person that trained me because he knows like all about the stores i was doing he's like hey can you go to uh this store because the vice president of that store is going to be in today so that need that store needs to get done soon and i was like okay and he goes uh ask the other guys if you can like bail on them early to go do that store and we got like five skids in uh so i was like okay so i helped with three and then i was like okay so i need to go to uh because like the vp is going to be there so i need to bail on you guys are you okay with that and both of them were like yeah that's fine sounds good so i left i got to the next door but 10 minutes goes by and i get a text from my boss saying did you bail on the other guys i was like yeah um my uh the person who trained me uh said i should go do this store because the vp is going to be in and he's like okay well he doesn't give you orders i do so go back to and i was like okay fine <laughs> but like i just i got so annoyed that like you're getting i'm getting fed, you're getting i'm getting fed orders from like i'm getting three different yeah, directions fed orders like, from like three different like two different people yeah and uh like i didn't just leave i said would you guys be okay and they mm. both said yes and then one of them immediately was like hey fuck this guy yeah. right so Take him out. i got back and one of the guys i, I immediately knew who it was because the one guy was like oh why are you back like what's going on and i was like oh yeah i came back because our boss called and the other guy didn't even fucking look at me and i was like cool so either the first guy is a master of manipulation or it's the other guy <laughs> so i was just pissed and i just i wanted to quit because i was getting tired of fucking just back yeah no that feel chain of command is very fun mm -hmm. it is fucking stupid I really like it that I'm best friends with my manager. He literally walks by me and just shits mm. his pants. Like, every single <laughs> shit. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag drive by. And I was like, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> we honestly think that his stomach was cursed by a gypsy at some point. It is worse than Eric. Jeez. <laughs> it's terrible. I was going to say, I'm just happy that everyone leaves me alone in my work. <laughs> no, he is a cool guy. He grew up in, like, the 80s. He is, like... Us, but from that time period, like he's into like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Thundercats, and oh, fucking, fucking Transformers. Nerd. <laughs> oh, yeah, he he is an '80s nerd, and we have so much to talk about. He plays Fortnite with his son. Fortnite, Fortnite, Battle Pass. He did hit the booty. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fun. I don't know who my bosses are. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, they rotate every three months. <laughs> <laughs> like who's in charge I don't fucking know mm -mm. I just go into work Ugh. hopefully nobody hates me and that's it oh, I guess I should mark when I said words uh, <laughs> that you didn't really say good. town names no but I said locations and I mean, don't know that's where you, use, you said and yeah and I, really I, also, away. I guess but I also said what day the VP is going to be in whatever, it's fine, whatever. whatever. But, anyway it's okay my, my dick don't work <laughs> it's true <laughs> Josh's dick don't work damn it everyone here needs the pills <laughs> no I got a pimple okay. right friend's got a pimple on his dick so that's why I don't work <laughs> he's just backed up <laughs> it's right on the uh, uh, it was <laughs> that's not pus inside of that pimple <laughs> <laughs> it was not it didn't feel good so did it dry <laughs> like, like what what did it dry <laughs> Did it dry out? It popped at some point. Oh! oh. <laughs> I had one on the side of mine. Uh, it wasn't like... Ago. It was on the foreskin. You you oh. guys need to wash your fucking dicks more. I what do. The hell? I do. I wash them every day. You and poor That's Jeff true. are just Clearly like... Not face good full enough. <laughs> Clearly not well enough that you guys are getting zits on your dicks. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. So. It's like <laughs> one time. Yeah. The one yeah. time. Yeah. As far as good. we know. It didn't feel good. Apparently you're not supposed to pop them. I don't. I, I just like popping dimples. I don't know why. I had one on my toe the other day. That's fair. Anyone else have any other topics other than dick pimples? <laughs> my, my my head is empty at this point. Head empty, honestly, head empty. Head empty. Belly. No, not nuts full. But belly <laughs> mm -hmm. So no head. Dick, dick covered in pimples. No pimple. <laughs> Josh, anyway, for everything else. So uh, 
at the time we're recording this one, uh, I'm playing through a Tales game. Another one. Oh god. <laughs> the only Tales game that I ever played was Tales of uh, Radiant Mythology on the oh, PSP. Yeah. Hell on yeah! The PSP. Tales that's Miles how Miles. old. That's Tales, Tales of Miles Proc. That's the only Tales. That's uh, <laughs> that's Tales from Sonic. I played yeah. Tales yeah. of the Borderlands ones. Ooh. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> the second one's my favorite so Tales of. Yeah, and uh, then Gearbox made their own Tales from the Borderlands. It's, uh, <laughs> Tales it's from, not Tales of. <laughs> it's so. Uh, no, the only reason I say that is because like. I, I love the Tales series, mm. and, like, they're long, though, so I don't know how long I can keep that game going. <laughs> Dude, I'll... I'm having fun with it, it's just, it's cringe, isn't it? Oh, you guys have watched I have to mute week. it so I can focus on my game and not cringe to death. <laughs> I'll, I'll, like, I'll, I'll be, like, playing Destiny or whatever, I'll unmute his stream, and I'll just hear, Oh, what are you doing? Can I touch your boob? I'm like sorry. if some girl obsessed with groping this other girl, it's like I'm out. Old, All right. old JRPGs have the best voice acting. Yep, it was like cheesy what, bad voice acting. What was that one Final Fantasy game with like the forced like laughter scene, like the one where they're oh, like, oh, ah, 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 no, it wasn't forced. It was there's acted context. That way for there's a context, now. okay? There's context. <laughs> yes, there I know they had like a big like. Moving speech, like you just gotta laugh. You just gotta laugh in the face. This is because she was feeling down, okay? <laughs> yeah, and then they give the most horrific laugh known to man. Ah! And then she joined in. <laughs> and then she joined in. Play the damn game. You understand? <laughs> yeah, Kevin, you're getting Josh all riled up. You're riling him up about JRPGs. <laughs> I played Final Fantasy One and got lost immediately. I Hell didn't know yeah. where to go after Garland. Same. Those games are too bridge. open. I uninstalled this. What bridge? I couldn't find a bridge. I ended up at like one end of like the continent, and like you're fighting enemies like level ten. I was like, well, yeah, okay. Like, okay, I'm just gonna put this down now. I put my. Uh my external hard drive on my PS5 so now I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of room all Yay. my PS4 games are on my external hard drive and I've got like four PS5 games <coughs> installed now that's all of them that, yeah right? all four <laughs> PS4 PS5 games right? right you got Demon Souls yeah and Demon Souls no. God of and War and Bug Snacks you got Bug Snacks Bug Snacks no, I got uh, I got Demon Souls. I got a Demon Souls. Astro's Playroom. No, Astro's Play. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Immediately. God of War Ragnarok. I do have that one installed. NHL. Uh, I got uh, Far Cry Six <laughs> installed. What is it was on was, sale? Was that a PS5? There's a PS5 version. Oh, see that doesn't count. It, doesn't it needs count. to be like released for like no, the PS5. No, I, I know, but I mean like I got the PS5 version, which means I can't put it on my <laughs> external hard drive. Anyway. Do we have any quays in this? Any new I ones? don't think so. I no. still think that Far Unless Cry 3 was the Spotify. best. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I don't think so. Ever, so, ever After Far Cry 3, they tried recreating Far that Cry that magic that 3 had, and yeah. it just didn't work. And even, like, the most, Far like, Cry. newest one, like, Far Cry 6, that they re, like they reintroduced, like, the villain of Far Cry 3 in, like, the post credit scene. Did Wait, they really? They yeah, did? they did. It's yeah. in Far Cry 6, yeah. yeah. There's DLC about uh, all the villains. Oh, Cry. that one, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I know about that. Far, yeah, Far Cry think... Four was. I hated Far okay. Cry. 4. That was the one in the like Tibetan mountains, or yeah. 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 That one was okay. Was okay. The yeah. ending of that game just pissed me off. I would re- not have. See, I, don't think I actually finished any of them. No crazy It had time. no good endings. That was the problem. The best ending is if you side with the villain. I don't think I finished any Far Cry Mark games. Well, I mean, if you wanted to finish Far Cry Four, you'd stay at like the table for like five minutes, and yeah. you just complete so, like the game. I showed Robin that. And she was like, "Fucking no way." <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> can do it with Far Cry Five too. The only Far Cry I remember is the the Blood Dragon or whatever. No, uh, that's the best one. Really funny one. Throw your D twenty, nerd. <laughs> right, you just that one was so funny. Ad, 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 I want them to remake it. <laughs> It'd be so good. Nah, they wouldn't do it justice anymore. Remember when? What was that one motorcycle game? Trials. Where, yeah, Trials. But they did like the like Blood Dragon like of like Trials. I remember that. Yeah. I miss Trials. I miss watching Achievement Hunter play <laughs> Trials more specifically. Well, Jack's dead. So. <laughs> dead inside. Yeah. What? No, I'm kidding. We're all dead inside. I haven't watched in months. How bad is it? Uh, they're, just, they're bringing a lot of stuff back for uh, their 20th anniversary. Jeff's done with like Achievement Hunter, essentially. Like He's doing his own stuff. I'd be but done he, with it, too, if I was him. He all pops in occasionally. But yeah. Gavin is just doing slow-mo guys now. 
It's all like new people, essentially. Like the oldest people that are in there are Trevor and uh, Alfredo. Even Funhouse got a bunch of oh, new. Oh, Michael. Uh, yeah, even Fun Funhouse got a bunch of new 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 people. Yeah, they're doing good. I just fell off all those Let's Play channels. Yeah, still watch them occasionally. But... I. It's funny if I want to Let's Play, I'll just turn on like a Twitch streamer who uploads their vods. I'll just turn that on. I just play. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes when you're working on no, stuff, I... you need background noise. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're right. You're right. So no quiz nice? No, we don't have wow. any. We don't have any new ones. <sighs> Come on, Josh! <laughs> uh, but speaking of which, uh, if you guys have any quiz and is, uh, comment down below. Please do. Suck my cock. Maybe don't do that you one. Don't you don't have to do that one. You don't have to do that. There um, are, are pimples. pimples. There are pimples all over <laughs> that dick. You don't want to suck it. Uh, I'll take it out. I'll show you. So, <laughs> oh, no, no, there's only the one. So hashtag quiz and is on there's Twitter. Weird. Or YouTube comments, or uh, respond on uh, bo- uh, Spotify. Or, or, start or, making or come harass like me in the stream. And or yes, come harass uh, me. Don't, you don't have to harass you. They harass me on, and, uh, on Strum. Hey, Strummer. Uh, Quays and A's. Show us your you toes. Guys gay? And then they enter. And then they no. Strummer, are you the big gay? Quays and uh, A's. Strummer? Quays and A from Phantom Light, are you gay? No. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> no. Who said that in? <laughs> Who said that? Josh. You can ask that if you guys want. I don't know. We're just we're, we're gonna answer questions. If I have a question. question Go ahead. What's your favorite Pokemon and why? Number one. Am I number one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like you should save me for last. Okay. Anyone else? Hello, Pony. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules against the Pokemon, Batman. There's no rules. I found a Pokemon, Joker no. Batman. Okay. All right. If I had to go serious though, I'd say Swampert. Like Gen hey. Gen Three was like the first game that I really got into. My first game ever was a Japanese copy of Pokemon Silver. Fucking nerd. Couldn't read a word of it. I started with Totodile. Like, Rage carried me, f- like, through, like, the first couple of gyms, but, like, the first Pokemon game I really got into was Pokemon Ruby on the Game Boy Advanced, and Mudkip was my man. Hell yeah. I can agree. But, uh... I killed favorite... Grout on the first playthrough, though. That really made me sad, ah. I, because I didn't know about, like, safe Small parts better. Um, I like, an, I like Umbreon. Umbreon's my favorite. I don't know why. Just like it. Dark, <laughs> edgy. The edgy. The <laughs> evolutions are great. Mm-hmm. It's true. Uh, Red wise is Sylveon. It's an X-ray. <laughs> oh. Because badass electric kitty. Sylveon is an honorable mention purely because it pisses off Eric. <laughs> Wait, really? He hates fair, Sylveon? Fair, fairy types are the bane of Eric's e- existence. Because literally he came up, he's like, hey, battle me, and he pulls up with a fucking all dragon team. And he's like, <laughs> Sylveon. <laughs> That's funny. Like, Sylveon's my favorite one. Yeah, That's Sylveon's awesome. were. Dragons were like the king for so long that yeah. when fairies came up, like it just like destroyed like the entire meta. Dude, I love fairy types. So many of them are so cool. John, answer your golden question first. Oh, I was gonna do mine last, but oh, you do okay. You do yours last. Oh, okay. So it better not be like the snow, like the snow cone po- Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I know that it's stupid, stupid <laughs> fucking <laughs> Klefki. The trash bag. I think for the <laughs> longest time. It's rubbish. My favorite Pokemon was Lucario. Yeah. Okay. But that yeah. might change. Muck cuts come. <laughs> Ekans is snake backwards. What? Ar- Arbok is cobra backwards. Dude, I had no and idea, Muck dude. Come back. Galarian Muck is much more like your cum. Did you know Voltorb is a Pokeball? Like oh my god. Did you know um, Electro is just an upside down okay, Pokeball? So <laughs> Lucario Bro, was your favorite, but Arbok. it might change to what? Yeah, Cerula Edge. Okay. Which one's that? The sword. Oh, right. <laughs> Just because he looks fucking cool. That's true. And he also reminds me a lot of Mega Man. Oh no, uh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. of Mega Man Battle Net. Yeah. Oh, not the sword. Oh, the, the new one. The new one. Yeah, yeah. 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 The sword arms. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the fire ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, those are so cool. Yeah, they were cool. And yeah, my answer is Corviknight. Oh, yeah. I, great. I've always been a sucker for like medieval armor, mm-hmm. and I always like love flying bird types. And when I saw that boy, he was he was my new number hey. one from your favorite games. Hey, I <laughs> know how part of that to game. trigger a core night player though. Take yeah, take a take a ton. Literally, the hammer is made out of dead core babies. The funniest part is core just destroys. Yeah. 
It doesn't stop that little man manlet though. It's scary. I'm just scary. shooting rocks at it. But yeah, my favorite used to be Swampert. Then uh Core Fight happened. Yeah. That's fair. Honorable honorable mentions to Lopunny, Gardevoir. <laughs> <laughs> All the simp ones, eh? Hey, we'll be for you, Kevin. Oh, did oh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> In terms of bringing up bros. Gothitelle. Bumper 15. Oh, God, not Gothitelle. Bumper 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 Burger Bing Burger. <laughs> 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 I think we're losing it. One of these. It's okay, just give us Klefki 2. Yeah, give me Klefki 2. Mega Evolution. <laughs> Kling Clang. <laughs> It's just noises. They just named a whole bunch of noises. What? What's this? Cling, 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 What's this like cling, 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 Gen 2 was a Gen 2 was weird. Like, they got a lot of stinkers. A bunch of, like, baby Pokemon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, learning things about Pokemon that I didn't know. Like, did you know Macargo has a pre evolution? Yes. Yeah. Slugma. Slugma nuts. <laughs> Got <laughs> it! Got it! <laughs> End it right there. Yeah, that's where we end it. Uh, thanks for listening to Quay Episode 9. Uh, thanks Thank for you for the here. question. Yeah. Jeff. Jeff. And thanks for carried, uh, carried Quasin A's for us. Josh, what the fuck? No, I'm okay. Kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Does that mean I'm released from the prison? For no. N- no. 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 Right. I was going to say for now, but no, but he's free. <laughs> um, thanks for listening to Quay episode 9. Uh, thanks for everyone for being on. Yeah, um, no problem. And uh, check out Roll for Stupidity on Spotify and mm-hmm. on YouTube. We did a bad today in Roll for Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you'll learn about it. Yeah. I think yeah, that's a fucking months from now. That's like yeah, weeks from now. <laughs> Listen, it'll be a callback. They'll understand it then. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it comes out every Friday. Spotify at three a.m. So you can listen to it on your way to work or whatever. Three a.m. It comes out on three a.m. at three a.m. on Spotify. On Spotify, but then on YouTube comes out at noon. So if you really want to listen to it early, check it out demographics. Goes. Yeah. Uh, so if you really want to listen to it early, go on Spotify. And uh, same goes for Quay. We uh, we release it every other Monday. So from when you're hearing it now, it'll be two weeks um this one's like, what, fucking four weeks out oh yeah yeah but uh and then again we release it every uh monday or every other monday at 3 a.m on spotify and noon on youtube so you can listen to it on your morning drive at work uh or to work or on your way to work or whatever you have to do or on if monday you don't morning. work you just you just want to listen to it yeah if you want background music is very early. good you're listen to it while you're taking a shit feel free to wake up care. at 3 a.m and listen to it on spotify. <laughs> just for no reason i do do you? Ooh, yes. Thanks, Jeff. When I'm at work. <laughs> it's like the one skit from SpongeBob. Who eats a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? <laughs> oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Who listens to Roll for Stupidity at 3 in the morning? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone, and goodbye. Bye.